Hi, I'm Rahul. Uh, hey guys, I'm Shivaji. We are building a suite of AI agents on NA10 called Senpai. So the aim of these AI agents is to help you with improving your productivity. We'll be building this in public and we'll be showcasing our journey and progress along the way every weekend. So yeah, super excited and pumped to show you all what we are building on our side. Hi, I'm Rahul. Welcome to our series where we build AI agents that actually solve real world problems. So have you ever tried subscribing for job alerts and you often realize that you get spammed with a lot of uh, alerts and most of the jobs are irrelevant for you and they do not match your profile as well. So today I'll show you how we built an AI agent that automatically finds jobs that match your resume, your preferences. And not only that, it sends you updates every morning on Telegram. So in this video, I will first show a demo of how this uh, chatbot which I've developed works. Then I'll break down into the tech stack, uh, how we have developed it on NA10, what are the various uh, tech uh, tools we use, the LLM models. And then um, I'll also tell how we have set up a system where we automatically send these messages on a daily basis to all the users who have provided their preferences. So yeah, so uh, just before I get into the uh, demo, uh, the main problem which we face on a daily basis are that we know what we want. Like we want a certain type of job in a certain location and we have a few companies in mind. And what happens is that there are a lot of openings which match these filters and we need to go through each of them. We don't even know if we are a right fit. So what we end up doing is mostly apply to most of them and then we get uh, a message saying that we're not fit for it or we are underqualified, overqualified and things like that. So to make our job a bit easier, what we do is we here we will get your data from your resume, combine it and based on the descriptions of the job, we will see if you're a right fit for the job or not and recommend you the ones so that you can apply and you have a better success rate. Okay, let's get started with the demo. I've set up a bot on Telegram called Senpai and uh, I've configured in such a way that its job is to assist me in my job search. So now um, here you can see that uh, it has sent a message that he, the bot can help me find relevant LinkedIn jobs and you need to provide this information to it. So let me go ahead and provide some information. One product manager roles in Bangalore. So I've given it the job title and location. I've not given it all the necessary information. So, so now uh, it also reminds me again that I need to tell the years of work experience, if I have any preferred companies in mind and also if I have a resume. So let me give those details. Six years of work experience. So I've just given it that. So either it asks me that, yeah. So now it's again asking me if you have any companies. So let me give some companies which I have in mind. Amazon, Google, Microsoft. So now post that uh, only the resume is pending. So it will remind me again. And uh, so I have my resume. Let me just go ahead and attach it. Now um, the bot has recommended the relevant jobs. So let's have a little more detailed look at it. So it has suggested me uh, product manager jobs and uh, currently I've set up the limit to uh, five. Uh, so it has suggested me the top five uh, relevant jobs and you see that uh, there are two things at Amazon and three at Google. And it also gives me a score based on uh, if I'm a fit for it or not. And how it does that is it has the details from my resume and it says that candidates experience in Gen AI and AWS aligns with the roles focus on new tech applications for customer experience. So this particular role, uh, it's a product manager tech role. So, and it finds out that I have prior tech experience and that's why it feels that I'm a good match for this role. So here you can see if I uh, open my resume, you will probably be able to see uh, that there are uh, similar keywords on the resume as well, uh, which denote the same. So here you can see that there's a thing which I worked on Gen AI, then some on AWS related and all this. It picks up these keywords and uh, summarizes it. And here we have used uh, again uh, an LLM GPT-40 to do it. And then it compares with the jobs and yeah, it gives me that. So you can see that there's another role. This is not a tech role, but it's still a product manager role. 
and still maybe that's why the score is maybe a bit lower than the previous one the previous one we had got a nine but yeah still since it's a product manager role and i worked at amazon already so maybe it thinks that i'm a strong fit for it and then there are a few openings in google as well so yeah so it basically does the same thing like uh, and once it gets all the job jobs uh, like the top n number of jobs and then does a relevancy check it gives me the top five so that's how uh, it works and now that it has our preferences we have an automated uh, trigger as well for it to send the new job openings which fit my profile every morning okay now that we have gone through the demo let's look at what is the underlying architecture behind it and how we have set it up so we have used na10 a low code platform which makes things super easy so we, i took about maybe max two to three hours uh, on a weekend to develop this entire workflow and that's because na10 makes it very easy to do it and all you need to have is uh, just an understanding about your algorithm how do you want to set things up and once that is there it's all plug and play so so for this ai agent what we have made is we have uh, again configured it on telegram so we have created a node uh, and uh, we have created a node for receiving telegram messages so what this does is uh, it will be listening to any message i send as a user on telegram so the moment i send any message this workflow gets triggered and once i uh, trigger it there's a small piece of code which would transform all the inputs and send it to the ai agent and now what this ai agent does is so we have configured it with a basic prompt so we have told the ai agent that your primary job is to help the user find linkedin jobs right and the main purpose of this bot is to get all the information from the user when we have configured the information which it requires and once it has all the information it should trigger the job search so here you can see we have configured the inputs and then we have also gave it conditions that we need at least three of the five inputs required the resume is mandatory and once uh, all the information is there it needs to trigger the job workflow and given that we are triggering an automation after this we need the right parameters as well to go to the downstream workflow so hence we have added this prompt which says that this is the exact structure of the json uh, which needs to be sent to the next workflow so here you can see that uh, once it has all the information it triggers this workflow so that's how we have configured it and until it doesn't have this information it keeps having back and forth conversation with the user and there are a few settings as well which we need to configure for the ai agent first of all the model so here we have configured gpt40 so in the beginning we had configured gpt40 mini but we faced challenges uh, in it when it came to sending the right inputs in the right structure and hence it's recommended that we use gpt40 and apart from that we ne also need to set up a simple memory node which uh, can determine how how long can how long the context need to be there so we have set it as 10 this means that the bot will have access to the last 10 messages sent on telegram so and we will use that to make a judge of the uh, conversation so yeah this is how the simple uh, workflow is and the main part happens after this where it triggers the job retrieval workflow so once it has triggered the job retrieval workflow it would we have a bunch of uh, code which would take in the inputs and uh, convert it into a particular format and also here you would see that we have connected with google sheets and why google sheets that's because we have used google sheets as a database in this case to make things simple for a prototype and here uh, in this case particularly we have stored all the location ids of the uh, various locations in india and why location id because the future apis which we are going to use to do the job search requires location id so here you can see that for all the top uh, cities in india based on the number of job openings we have the respective location id and we will be using this location id at a later stage and once that is there uh, there is another piece of code which would basically uh, uh, get all this data parse it in a particular format which can be used easily for our future uh, calls and then this is where all the uh, api calling happens this part so first of all what we do is we have all the location ids we just uh, do some parsing and get it in a particular format then the second part is regarding company uh, company so we have the raw company names like amazon google microsoft etc in this case but what uh, really linkedin needs are the company ids so uh, we run a linkedin api which would get the company id based on the company name so for example you see that uh, we have passed google and amazon and 
so for google you get the company id similarly uh, you get for other google companies as well uh, and then same for uh, amazon as well so you get all these ids and then you, you would have seen in the previous list that there were multiple companies under google multiple under amazon but we do not need all of them we just take the top n so we take the top three in this case and here uh, in this case it's the top two actually so here we just get the location id company ids for google and google DeepMind, and similarly amazon and aws so now we have the company ids now we have the location ids and also we have the job titles now using all these three information we merge this data set and then we call the linkedin search job cpa so what it does here is with this information it gets all the openings which match this combination and there will be a bunch of openings about like 100 openings for this uh, combo i can imagine and we do not go through all the 100 openings we just go through the first top uh, 25 openings and then what we do on those 25 openings is that uh, we have we get the job description for the same we have got the job description and parallelly another workflow is running which is related to your resume so here we extract the information from the resume which we had passed so first of all before that we use uh, two telegram apis to get the metadata from the resume uh, based on the file id then we extract the information and then again we use a summarization chain backed by gpt 40 and here uh, you see that based on the raw text from my resume it has summarized my resume into a very precise summary and if you see that here again we have given it a prompt and here we have told that your job is to summarize the resume you need to find the candidate summary key skills project highlights experience also suggest some job titles and add a resume strength as well with keywords so it has a summary of your resume and then uh, once it has all this again we store this data in google sheets for future references uh, that's why we are calling again the google sheets api and once it does this it merges with the original data set we have another ai agent and the main job of this ai agent is to get the relevancy score for all the jobs which uh, it is catering to so it would get the relevancy score it would get the reasoning so here you have said told that you need to give the relevancy score you need to give the fit check and the reason so this would compare the uh, description of the job with your resume and it would give a structured uh, output which has the relevancy score fit check and the reasoning and we would discard the bottom 20 and only take the top five and do a basic bit of processing so we use this code nodes to just do a basic bit of processing when there's a, a node not already available and then once we do all that we generate a telegram message and that's how you get the telegram message uh, with a structured uh, uh, format of all the jobs available and we also share this information in google sheets so that when we run our next workflow which is the automated messages we do not repeat any job opportunity so yeah coming to our automated job notifications it's more or less the same uh, it's just that uh, instead of a automated instead of a manual trigger based on the telegram conversation we have a automated trigger which runs every day at 8 am it for, it reads the data from google sheets to know all the preferences for all the various chats uh, all the users it also gets the details about the previous jobs recommended the resume all this information and then again it goes through the same workflow does a linkedin uh, a search and again uh, an ai agent to summarize the new job opportunities with uh, the uh, existing uh, resume summary and then again sends a message to telegram and it repeats the same for every user so yeah this way it is hands off the wheel you don't need to keep messaging the bot every day to get a new opportunity it's automated you get it every morning and it doesn't repeat any already shared opportunities so yeah this is how i set up a simple workflow on na10 and as you can see that uh, it is pretty simple it's all about connecting the blocks and doesn't require much coding knowledge it uh, took me hardly uh, three to four hours to develop this entire workflow and uh, yeah like na10 is pretty good it has integrations with most of the tools and easy to connect with other apis as well so pretty easy so you can go ahead and try out a simple n810 workflow and uh, you can let me know if you have any questions thank you